In a patient who has an increased risk of breast cancer due to a genetic mutation, the most common mutation we find is a BRCA1 or 2 mutation. This stands for breast cancer related gene. This is one of the first mutations that was discovered for developing breast cancer. It is associated with the development of breast and ovarian cancer. It can be associated with male breast cancer and it is thought to be associated with other cancers such as colon, pancreatic, and prostate cancer. For a woman who has a mutation in the BRCA gene that increases her risk of breast cancer, she would have about a 50 to 80 percent risk of developing breast cancer in the future. She also has a risk of developing ovarian cancer in the future. This is about a 20 to 50 percent lifetime risk. There are many options for these women. We have prophylactic surgery for both the ovaries and the breasts. This is probably the most talked about option. With the prophylactic mastectomy in a patient who is at high risk for developing breast cancer, we can achieve over a 90% risk reduction. The risk of developing breast cancer, even with surgery, is never zero, although it is very small. But it's also important to note that these women can also choose screening um, at a regular, on a regular basis with advanced imaging and multiple visits with their doctors for breast exams.